Hello everybody, welcome back to Space Pickle Designs. Today I have an unboxing of the Bargain Bead Box in Tropical Heat Collection. So if you haven't already seen it or you want to just see what I think about these beads, then just keep watching. Maybe I've been out of the loop for a while with Bargain Bead Box, but I like that they're putting the numbers of like how it corresponds to the list here. It makes it really easy. So number one here is approximately 40 millimeter Crackle Agate dyed and heated and I got a really cool one look at that it looks like my um my hole is a little plugged up here let's see if you can see that oh, and just ream it and it's good to go but look at the detail on mine I got lucky with this one I saw some that are more like one color but I really do like the variation in this one Number two, we have a seven to eight millimeter Malaysian Jade dyed quartz English cut round. And they're in this like, well, I have one dark bead here, but they're in like this nice like reddish pink color. Not true red, not true pink. It's really like smack dab right in the middle. But I do like the variation on these. I do love an English cut too. So definitely gonna use these. This one is a six millimeter dyed quartz faceted cube in magenta. And so they didn't have a color for the last one, but this one is really a true pink, true pink, like salmon-y, not, oop, that's not true, not salmon -y at all, but it is a true pink. And just for reference, like this is what that previous strand looks like. So you can see that it is more red, but I do like the variations in this guy. I do like the fasting. So yeah, we can put these to some good use. So these beads are a 10 millimeter quartz dyed and heated and they're rounds in crimson and they're seven inches here. And this matches the first bead pretty well. So like a more reddish tone. Um, here's the pink tone. So yeah, we're getting a lot of these really rich like tropical colors. Very appropriate for tropical heat. And I want to make a stretch bracelet with this one in particular because I love a 10 millimeter stretch bracelet. I know a lot of um, women in particular like the smaller beads, like the eight and the six, but I'm here for the chunky one. So I think I'm going to make a stretch bracelet for myself with these guys because I don't have very many pink beads. Pink beads are lacking in my stash. Next up, we have six millimeter, uh, six millimeter carnelian dyed and heated round beads, and they're 14 inches of this, so you get a full strand here. And I do love a carnelian, and I know these are pretty variated uh, in terms of color, but I actually prefer that uh, to the really dark orange. I mean, there's a, definitely a time and place for the dark orange carnelian, but I, I like variation in my gemstone beads, so this doesn't bother me at all. All right, we have 29 by 13 millimeter Mountain Jade dyed Dolomite and brass faceted links. And I have a really deep, um, like a, I don't know what I would call this. I guess a cherry, a cherry red is appropriate, but it, it'll go pretty well with my pendant because like at the edge here is this deeper red color and it blends into the orange and white as you see. So I actually think I could use all three of these in a piece and it would be fine. Next up is a 8mm crystal faceted octagon bead in opaque red AB, 6 inches. And these are just, these are kind of wild. Like in person, it's kind of, it almost hurts my eyes because they're so shiny. It almost looks surreal. It's like if, if I'm looking through some like those, the Apple glasses or whatever. <laughs> these are so bright. It's like dark at night, like it's at nighttime, right? And these are just like shining crazily. I don't know if it's really coming through on the camera, but... These are some loud beads. Next up, I saw some unboxings of this box and this was kind of like, a, you know, one of the ones that people didn't like the most, I think, uh, because orange is a tough sell for a lot of people, but these are four millimeter crystal faceted bicone beads in the color tangerine. And I actually like these. Uh, when we have these uh, cheaper bicone beads, I prefer an opaque bead. Um, so this doesn't bother me, and I like orange, so if you don't like orange, you could save it for Halloween. Um, but I don't feel like this orange actually gives off a Halloween vibe 
I really do think it gives off a, a more tropical vibe. So we'll try to explore some ways to use this orange bead uh, to tone it down for people who may not like orange. We'll, we'll try to explore that. Next up is a 4.5 four by 5.5 millimeter crystal faceted triangle beads in the color sunshine. And there's five inches here. And there's just a soft place in my heart for triangle beads. Um, so I, I really like these. these. This is my favorite bead out of the box, honestly. Because there's so many things you can do with triangle beads. Like you can keep them together like this and it looks pretty cool. It has like an organic feel to it. But just using them as spacers really gives a, a unique uh, silhouette as well. So I really like these. I wish we had a full strand of these, but... Um, they can get a little pricey and to see all these gemstones all these metal components all these crystals in here for like $22.95 you can't really you can't really ask for more right so um, this is definitely my favorite strand out of the box and uh, yeah let's move on next up I got a 24 millimeter crackle quartz dyed brass wire wrap link in citrine and my wraps actually look pretty good i'm not usually a fan of this thin of a gauge of wire so i may do redo the herringbone wrap just because i like a thicker um wrap but this one is perfectly fine i saw i saw some others that were a little questionable but this one's perfectly fine and i really like the color i'm trying to up my stash of yellow and pink beads next up is this 17 by 14 millimeter enameled flower charm like uh lead free nickel free cadmium free maybe and crimson four pieces here and this really does match that color perfectly it's such an odd color not odd ugly but like just not very common color of like shade of pink or red and they got charms to match that perfectly that's kind of wild to me i'm definitely going to use one of these in my stretch bracelet because it's really common to see like your round beads and then the focal is just like a little um, charm like this so I definitely think we can do something with that next we have 30 pieces of 7.5 millimeter bead caps and these are very very gold as you can see it's it's borderline that gold that I, I wouldn't normally use but um, we're definitely gonna keep them we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do with those to kind of tone down that gold tone a little bit I think in this case it works but as you see here like this is a, a pleasant gold tone and this one's just a little bit louder um, but it's really hard to match metal tones together in a box so the rest of these the gold tones in this box seem to match so it's just it's just a tough you know it's just tough oh I really like these these are 20 piece 8 by 3 millimeter faceted rondel spacer beads and these actually feel like um, like if you go to Lowe's and you get like nuts and bolts or whatever. These are super heavy. They feel really good. Um, a lot of times when I complain about like some of the metal components from Bargain Bead Box, it's like it just doesn't feel good. These feel really nice. I like these a lot. And this this gold color is a, it's it's like that borderline, but I really I mean I think we can definitely use these for sure. I'm excited to use these. Next component is this 16 by 12 millimeter oval ring link. And again, these are these got some weight to them. So I'm really satisfied with these. These, um, they don't have like very noticeable of a seam on them. So that's nice. And uh, these are a closed link. So there's a lot of things you could do with this. I, I am thinking about using some yarn and then like having these as attachment points because it's, it's really nice when you're using fabrics to have like a solid ring. So we'll see. Next, we get a meter of 7.6 by 2.6 millimeter brass opal jewelry chain. And this is just like a little, really dainty little paperclip chain here. And you get a whole meter. So, yeah. And all the golds are matching, except for this pendant right here. So, I mean, it is cohesive. You can use all these um, golds in the same box. The only ones that are kind of different are... Like the soldering, the soft soldering on the side of these pendants here. That's more of like a, a champagne gold, as you can see. But, you know, you don't have to use these metal components in that piece. But, yeah, this is pretty dainty. This is very, this is a very feminine chain. And it's on trend right now. Last up, we have two lobster claw clasps. And they actually come with uh, jump rings of their own. So that's a nice little addition. 
And these are like the elongated oval shaped ones, not like the typical ones that you see in bead boxes. So a little unique component like that, just a little different little touch there. It's a nice addition. Okay, so here's what we got. What do we think? I actually, the reason why I did this unboxing is because when I, so I had canceled Bargain Bead Box before. I just wasn't, at the time, just really wasn't into it. I discovered their website. I love their website. I definitely recommend their website. Ordered a bunch of things from there and I'm like, you know what? I want that 30% off coupon. So I resub sub to the box. And um, these past two boxes have been like really good. Like, so I saw this one and, you know, I wasn't planning on doing an unboxing or anything. Everybody does an unboxing for this guy, but um, like, I actually really liked this box. Apart from like the borderline loud gold here, um, I really did like the beads and this, like the rich tones of this month's box. And I really, really love these guys. I hope like they have some of those extras on their website soon, uh, the triangle beads. So let's, let's play with it. I mean, we have it, right? So let's go ahead and play with it and uh, we'll see what we can make this month. Um, I got mine a little bit late. She got lost in Atlanta somewhere. You know, she probably went out in the middle of the night, you know, had a good time. And then she went about her way coming to Colorado, but she was stuck somewhere for like, four or five days so I finally got her she's safe and sound um so let me know what you think about this box um let me know what your favorite bead was or your favorite component was and let me know which one that you didn't quite care for I think my least favorite mm, my least favorite bead would probably be these I know that it was like a favorite for a lot of people but I feel like this one just looks it it hurt I don't know it kind of hurts my <laughs> eyes if I'm being honest I don't know why I think it's just I don't know I have LASIK I, maybe it's that <laughs> but these are just so bright and normally I'm like a loud person but we're gonna use them so let me know down below I hope you guys are staying safe and well until the next one I'll see you later bye